Louise Feely has been a design icon of mine since I first started studying women in design in college. We were thrilled to run a sneak peek of her studio last year, and I was overjoyed to meet her in person yesterday when I stopped by the studio to interview her for our font series. Her expertise in lettering and logo design, especially within the food and restaurant industry, is unparalleled, and it was an honor just to sit and talk with her. I hope you'll enjoy her thoughts on type and her advice for aspiring designers. So, let's meet Louise. My name is Louise Feely. I'm a graphic designer. I have my own studio, Louise Feely LTD, and I specialize in graphic design for food, specifically restaurant identities and food packaging. When I was 16 years old, I made my first trip to Italy. My parents were both Italian immigrants. It was our first, their first trip back, and my first trip there. And for me, it was uh, it was sort of this double revelation. I, I discovered my love of Italy, and at the same time, uh, my love of type and food. So I guess it was triple, and and that kind of set me on my course for um, for everything I've done here in the studio. I have to say that Italy is my main source of inspiration, both typographic and gastronomic, and. It's all, for me, it's all one thing, uh, because I, because all of my work is involved in food and because I'm so interested in type, when I started my studio, I specifically decided to focus on those, those things. When I first hear from a client, I'll sit down and meet with them and we, I'll ask them a lot of questions. Uh, the first question always is, who are the key decision makers in this process? Because I find it's very, very important to meet with those people. Whoever's going to be deciding on a logo or whatever I'm working on has to be at that meeting. I have a long discussion about what their needs are, what they like and don't like, and, and then I will start by just doing research, looking around at, at the competition, things like that, and then I just start sketching. And that, for me, that's the key point is, is just sitting down and whether it's a logo or whatever and, and this is something that I, I brought with me from when I did book jackets I would just sit down and just take the title of the book or in this case the name of the company when I'm doing a logo and I just sort of write the words over and over and over again and just sort of let them speak to me and, and turn into something and so that sketching stage is um, is very, very important because that's when the, the type starts to form. Usually, after doing all these sketches, it turns into, uh, into something that's more defined as, as a font, but it usually is one that doesn't exist, and then I have to figure out how to create that. I guess the easiest thing is taking the phone call from the clients. And the hardest thing is just, um, I think, trying to do something that I've never done before because I really hate to repeat myself and it's so easy to do that, especially when it's another French restaurant. <laughs> but that's also what I love about what I do is that, um, you know, since I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again, always trying to find a new way to do it differently. And then after you left, the dream I think that, uh, well, one of my favorite projects is, uh, one would be the, the logo that I did for the Pink Dora, which is a, um, an Italian restaurant in Seattle, and it's owned by a very dear friend of mine, which I guess is part of the reason why it's a favorite, because it, it's hard to work with your friends, but we were both equally happy with this logo, which is great. And it's a very lively restaurant, there's, um, the food is, is actually very, very good, but in addition to that, they're known for the fact that they have cabaret acts and they have a trapeze in the restaurant and they have a, a fortune teller who will come over to your table and read your tarot cards. So it's it's great and I wanted the logo to reflect that, to show that it's a serious restaurant and yet there's this whimsy to it. Another favorite is the Mermaid Inn um, because it's, it's well when, when the owners came to me and described it, they said we want, we want a, um, a restaurant that, that feels like a seafood shop that you would just stumble onto while you're walking along the beach, except that you happen to be in the East Village. So uh, I needed to come up again, again, something that shows that it's 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 not a funky restaurant, but it's it, it's actually very very good food. But it, it, it also needed to have a little sense of humor to it. 
Uh, well, I guess two things. One is, uh, obviously, um, is just to look at historical reference. You know, look at old type books. Because there's so many wonderful old typefaces that are no longer available. And, you know, if I were going to do a font, I would just resurrect one that I can't use ordinarily. The other is, um, you have to think of it as a font. You have to think of somebody being able to use all the letters together in various combinations. So you have to just make sure that they all look good together. You can view more of Louise's remarkable collection of work at louisefeely.com. Thank you so much to Louise for taking the time to meet with me and for being a constant source of inspiration.